Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Israel Banishment. Lord, will you are edified, my source, Etiman Online. Now, banishment goes into the origin of banish and banish goes into the origin of ban all right now banish it means to condemn by proclamation which is an order or edict which is an order to leave the country all right so we as a nation had to leave our country because we broke the laws, statutes, and the commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay. Here is an example, and it comes from the movie Thor. To act, the Jotuns must learn to fear me, just as they once feared you. That's pride and vanity talking, not leaving. Now, Thor is the son of Odin. Ship, you've forgotten everything I taught you. But a warrior's patience. While you wait and be patient, the nine realms laugh at us. If the old ways are done, you'd stand giving speeches while Asgard falls. You are a vain, greedy, cruel boy! And you are an old man and a fool! And this is how we rebel breaking the law, statutes, and the commandments, serving other gods instead of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, And therefore, what happened? We have the concept of Israel's banishment. Yes, I was a fool to think you were ready. Father. Hey! Thor, Odin's son, you have betrayed the express command of your king. Through your arrogance and stupidity, you have opened these peaceful realms and innocent lives to the horror and desolation of war! <laughs> Psalm 82 and verse 6, I have said ye are powers, Elohim, and all of you are sons of the Most High. Verse 7, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. This is a result of the curses. And curse is what, or curses, indignation, which means righteous anger of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. the loved ones you have betrayed. I now take from you your power in the name of my father and his father before. Two and verse six, I have said, ye are Elohim, and all of you are sons of the Most High. Verse seven, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. I hold it, our Father. Cut you out. And we were cast out, out of our land. Okay. Jeremiah 70 15. I will cast you out of my sight as I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. So the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom were cast out of the sight of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh 
because of our stiff heart, because of our stiff heart, okay? Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass if you as a nation will not hearken, listen unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh thy power to observe and to do all his commandments and the statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses, hence indignation, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 25, the Lord Yahweh shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And this removal, all right, can be equated to Israel's banishment. Verse 64, and the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. And because of this scattering, okay, what happened? We were removed out of our land. And this can be equated to Israel's banishment. From the one end of the earth, even, even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Verse 68, and the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again, modern day America, with ships by the way, referring to prophecy, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt, thou shalt see it no more again, referring to our land, Israel banishment, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, meaning slaves, and no man shall buy you. The only person that can save us is Yahweh Shah, beginning with the elect. Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. And what this means the bringing again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, freeing us from the hands of Esau, okay, from this, and, and from his system, okay? Once Yahweh returns, we will no longer be banished. We will no longer be banned, okay? We will be placed back in our land. Acts 3 and 20, and he shall send Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which before, before was preached unto you, okay? And the he is referring to our father Yahweh. Verse 21, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things which the Most High have spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. And for restitution, Strong's G605, Apocatastasis, Apocatastasis, of the perfect state before the fall. So once Yahweh shall returns, everything on earth, including us, most importantly, will be restored, but we will be much better. Our banishment will end. Lord, will you are edified. Shalom.